Hi, it's Eldin from the Mind Body Project. Today, we're going to be talking about food and nutrition because it's Children's Mental Health Week. So number one, food is either medicine to a child or it's going to cause them the diseases. There's something called G-bombs, acronym G-bombs. Greens, beans, onions, mushrooms, berries, seeds. Put that into a child's diet every single day and you'll find them doing okay, especially mentally. Fruit and vegetables, number two. Fruit and vegetables. Now, five a day, that was the circulation research and that was only for mortality rates. It's not for reversing disease. So what you can, what you want is you want to have more of a plant base. You, you need more than five a, a day uh, to reverse diseases, especially when it comes to depression. Number three, keep away from sugar. Sugar is the danger. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Um, high fructose corn syrup. So any processed sugary foods, biscuits, sweets, uh, cakes, anything like that. With uh, Orange juice has got this in there. Some cordials have got this in there. Fizzy drinks have got this in there. This is really, really dangerous for the child. It's really, really bad. High fructose corn syrup. And it's causing diabetes. Um, diabetes is now one in three children diabetes, diabetic in the UK. And this is because everybody's giving them processed sugars. Yeah, You want to stay away from this because your child is at risk here. Never eat anything sugary on an empty stomach and keep away also from artificial sweetness. So diet soda cans, diet uh, Coke is, if you have one can of diet Coke, 33% chance of increased chance in insulin resistance and diabetes. You had two cans, it's 66% gone up. This is not healthy at all. Number four, be aware of food allergies. Food allergies are problematic and you can get headaches, you can get stomach aches. 60% of the population now have food allergies because of the, the chemicals and how people put, what people put into the actual food themselves. So be aware of that. Your child cannot concentrate properly if this is going on. It causes massive inflammation in the gut and it's going to cause headaches in the brain as well. Factory farm and dairy meat. So just be aware that if you're having lots of um, meat products from normal factory farms, they have lots of antibiotics in them. 80% of all the antibiotics in the country actually go into these animals. Okay, Then that goes into your gut. What that does is it causes a problem with what we call neurotransmitters or the feel-good chemicals or the develop development of the feel-good chemicals which means that you then have a problem with the brain. Replace foods, number six, replace foods rather than cut out. So dietitians hate it when you say cut out foods, cut out foods, cut out foods, because you've got to replace what you're taking because you always got nutrients going in. So you've got to work out what nutrients you're going to be cutting out and then work out what the replacement is. Number seven, your body needs essential amino acids. So these are proteins because it can't get that from within the body. So it needs it from outside of the body. If the child does not have this, they cannot function properly. Cannot function properly. If you, tryptophan is a essential amino acid. If you take that out of the uh, your food for four to six days, that can cause depression in four to six days. This is how important these are. Number eight, healthy fats. Fats are actually pretty good and you need more fats than actual protein in your diet. They are neutral on insulin, which is why the keto phase has gone really viral at the minute. They do not cause a insulin spike like sugar does or carbs do. So, But you want the healthy fats. So nuts, seeds, avocados, avoid vegetable oils, because that is like putting oil, the, the engine oil from the car on your food. 
So you want to stay away from those oils. Cold press olive oil is really, really good for you. Plant-based, plant-based whole food diet, number nine. Plant-based whole food. Avoid those plant-based processed products that you see in the supermarket in the packages. Avoid them. So when we say plant-based, what we mean is whole foods. We don't mean those processed packages and these frozen microwave meals and all this nonsense. No, that's not what we mean. We mean cook from scratch. Basically, if man made it, is a good saying for you. If man made it, don't eat it. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Yeah, because men are crap at cooking. <laughs> uh, vegans, if you're going to just go vegan, then make sure you take supplements, vitamin B12. So make sure your child has vitamin B12 supplements, mandatory. Because if you don't, that's going to cause a problem with the immune system. And number 10... Processed foods, avoid processed foods. These are cancer causing. These cause massive inflammation in the body. They they're usually in the fast foods. They've got high calories. They're not very good for the body. Uh, they've got mon monosodium glutamate in there, which makes the tongue, the taste buds in the tongue are wider. So the food tastes better because if they didn't have that in there, then it would taste a load of nonsense. <laughs> it would taste crap. So just be mindful of that and look, make sure your child has really, really good foods because if they don't, then it's going to cause a problem with the brain and your concentration, ADHD, brain fog. It's going to cause all these type of problems if you don't give your child the right foods. Mm -hmm.